Hey, welcome to Blue Jacket Apiary. I know it's the middle of the week and I'm out here in my suit. As you know, if you've been following me now for a while, I've got a hive out here that is hopelessly queenless. I've been adding frame after frame after frame and they can't seem to make a queen or don't want to. So I broke down and I ordered one. So today we're gonna do something I've never done before. I'm gonna to try to introduce a queen to a queenless colony. Cross my fingers, they accept her and don't ball her and try to kill her. Otherwise, then I gotta to go to plan Z or wherever I'm at. So stay tuned. All right, there she is. There's my new Saskatras queen. Got a couple of attendants in there with her. We're gonna add her to the hive and see how this goes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set her down there and we're gonna see how they react. Um, depending on how they react will let me know whether they're going to accept her or not and what I need to do um, moving forward. The guard looks almost like they're indifferent to the whole thing. As you can see, they're not generally very happy that Well, I certainly wasn't expecting this, this utter indifference. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. That's odd. I certainly was not expecting that. Um, hmm. Seems to be one or two checking them out, but... And uh, keep an eye on this about five or six minutes. You don't need to just watch an empty box, so stay tuned. Well, it only took about 45 seconds, and they finally started showing up. Um, I don't think they're going to kill her. And now they're just checking her out. I'm giving a sniff, you know, they operate on pheromones, so they're just checking things out, seeing what's what. But I will say, I'm sort of surprised that uh, they acted really indifferent for as long as they did. It may have just taken a while for her smell to get out and for, for the other ladies. Um, check them out. There's some good stuff happening. I don't. I think this is going to go well. Let's see if they start uh, fanning around her. So let's see what happens. some dancing and some shaking going on. That's a good sign. It's good to see. It's good to see they're not, uh, they may have just been so, so ready for a queen that this might just go relatively simple. Not good. Really. There's some shaking going on. That's good. Give 
just another minute or two and uh, let me pull the cork out of the other end, set her down between the frames and uh, lock them up. see on the side it says marked because I did pay a couple of bucks extra for them to mark the green just in case. And on the end you can see it says Sask. Uh, that's short for Saskatraz which is what she is. Uh, we're staring. Uh, Saskatraz bees were a project out of northern Canada uh, to really hone in on uh, natural hygienic behaviors of bees. So Saskatraz bees are good for where it's cold. They make a decent amount of honey. Uh, they are hygienic, uh, they are varroa tolerant, so they've got all the traits that I'm wanting, and uh, this is, uh, we're going to see how this goes. So I'll have Russians, Carniolans, Saskatraz, and I'll have a split that came out of this very hive that is now famous, um, out of my survivor stock. So I will still have some lineage from last year, so that's good. I really want to try to keep that one going. Um, Oh, that's good to see. We got some lag one down between the frames, blowing her scent all over. It's nice to see. They're just really indifferent. Not nearly as much activity as I would have expected, but that's okay. Um, all right, give me one second, and we're going to hit the pause on this. All right, normally in this end, there's a cork plug. I went ahead and pulled it out, and what you see down there now. It's just hard sugar candy, a little bit of water, a little bit of sugar, and they make a paste and they shove it down in the hole. And what happens is it'll take a couple days um, for them to eat all that sugar away, slowly but surely releasing the queen and her attendants. Um, that gives time for the rest of the colony to really, to really kind of hone in on her smell and realize there's a queen present. Um, and by the time she's out, they will have hopefully accepted her fully and she will be she'll start walking around and it may be three or four days before after she's released before she decides to start laying so it's wednesday i'll probably come out sunday take a look um, as you can see she is marked that little yellow dot hopefully make it easier for me to find her um, in amongst all of those and as you can see She's a little bit bigger, a little longer in the abdomen so that she can get to the bottom of the cells and lay those eggs. Um, but corks out. She seems to be ripe for introduction, so stand by. All right, we've got her in there. I, uh, I stuck her between a couple of frames there. You can see the bottom is what you're looking at. And I put the cage down and the cork is on that end. Well, the sugar plug, I should say. Um, that gives them a few days to, uh, like I said before, eat the sugar out and let her go. Uh, I put the, the mesh part of the little queen cage that they ship her in down. That way, if something happens, it won't, won't go it won't go directly into there and risk hurting or damaging or killing the queen. Um, you can see they're, uh, they seem to be moving this direction. That's good news. I set her on there for five to eight minutes and I didn't see any sort of activity that would make me think they don't want her there. Um, I'm hoping this is just them being happy they got a queen finally. That would be awesome. Like I said, I'll come out this weekend and we'll see what they're like. Uh, see if she's out. See if she's walking around. I know where what brood is left because I came out, you know, in my attempt to save this before I ordered a queen, I put some frames of brood in there. There's still some of them that haven't uh, that haven't, you know, made their way out of their cells yet. So maybe by Sunday they'll all be gone. And this queen will be out walking, and uh, we'll see. Hey, thanks. Hold on a second. I'll be right back.
All right, well, that went a whole lot better than I thought it would. What do you want? I gave you a queen, go away. All right, well, there's always one. Um, as you can see, I rushed home for a reason, in case you can't tell. It's rather dark out here. Um, supposed to rain today, supposed to rain all day. I'm done playing. But it didn't, thank goodness. Um, gave me a window to come home and get my queen in. That went a whole lot better than I thought it would, but I'm glad it did. It was the first time I've done that, so thank you for joining me on that journey. Um, like I said, we'll give it about three or four days. Probably come out Sunday afternoon and see how she's doing. I might pick in Saturday. If I can hold out, I'll wait till Sunday, but I probably won't be able to. I'm a little impatient that way. But we'll see how things go this weekend. Um, man, I am so excited to see how this turns out. Um, that gives me Russians, Carniolans, Saskatraz, and Minnesota Hygienics. Four that I really wanted um, so that I could really diversify that apiary, keep the bloodline really, you know, open. Man, the ticks are bad out here this year. Um, and hopefully, knock wood, you know, if they start making their own queens and start open mating, um, that gives me the opportunity to really just sort of make some Missouri mutts, you know. I'm not looking for any pure bloods, although that's what I started with for a reason. Um, I don't mind if they open, open mate. They make their own queen great that's what bees do they want to go out and mate if the carniolans end up with russians and Minnesota, what however it works out i'm okay with it uh, because i picked four strains of bees that i know are solid for varroa resistant i know they're all solidly hygienic and i can't ask for anything else hey thanks for coming along and starting to sprinkle i'm gonna get out of here i will see you all in about i'll say four days but it may be three um be kind <laughs>